Top 5 Best presents Texas Teen Goes to School. No one expects this to happen. Before we begin, do us a favor by clicking that like button and subscribing to our channel for more real life stories every day. The first day of school can be an emotionally challenging experience for parents. It is a day that represents your child passing into a new phase of life where, for the first time, they will begin having experiences outside of their parents' company, meeting other children and forming independent relationships. It also represents a time when parents are forced to confront the fact that they won't be able to protect their children around the clock. This brings a sense of helplessness to many first-time parents and can add to the first day of school anxieties that so many struggle with. But despite this instinct to protect, there are times when disaster strikes and there is nothing that school officials or parents can do to protect a child. Today we are going to hear the terrifying story of a teenager who left for school and never came home. Perland, Texas is located 40 minutes south of Houston and boasts a population of nearly 120,000 people. The town's largest employer happens to be the Perland Independent School District, which oversees 23 schools including Glenda Dawson High School, where nearly 3,000 students attend classes every day. But early in 2016, it became the scene of a shocking and unexpected medical emergency. Joshua Gray was a 17-year-old student at Glenda Dawson High School who, by all accounts, was a healthy young man who enjoyed golf and hated the crust on sandwiches. Josh was in grade 11 and would frequently ride to school with friends, but one day he arrived at school with no idea that things would never be the same again. Around 11 a.m., after his first classes were finished, he began to complain of stomach pain. He was sent to the nurse's office, but his discomfort continued to intensify, and soon he was clutching his stomach in agony. The school nurse recognized that he was in significant pain and quickly called for help, before the lunch bell rang, Josh was transported to Texas Children's Hospital in Houston, where doctors had found themselves in a fight against the clock. What had started as a simple stomach ache had spiraled wildly out of control, and a medical team at Texas Children's Hospital was left struggling to stabilize the 17-year-old boy, as he repeatedly lost his pulse. Meanwhile, his parents waited anxiously, not knowing if their son was ever going to wake back up. By the time his classmates came back from lunch, Josh had been pronounced dead. In the aftermath, his family, including his mother, Lori Gray, and older brother, Jordan, were left with more questions than answers, and the medical examiner's report left them with even more. As the family waited to learn the official cause of death, students at Dawson High were offered access to grief counselors and pastors. Many paid tribute to him by covering his desk and chair in sticky notes, each with a heartfelt message about the impact he had on his fellow students. When his cause of death was finally revealed, it was something that nobody expected, and the medical examiner's office stated that in over 40 years of records, they had never come across anything similar. According to the autopsy results, an artery running to Josh's pancreas exploded, and a short time later, his pancreas did as well. What they may never know is why. The subsequent investigation also revealed that there was nothing his parents or the school could have done to prevent the devastating outcome. It was determined that the school nurse acted appropriately and wasted no time in contacting emergency responders. Many are calling the incident a freak accident. Before his death, Josh had been active in the community and was planning a mission trip. According to reports, the trip was set to continue as planned in the memory of Josh's commitment to helping others. Talking about his naturally kind and accepting nature, Josh's friend, Austin Hurst, said, quote, I'm loud and obnoxious. He loved that about me. He loved all of us for exactly who we were. And that was the best part about being with Josh. You could be you. In the wake of the tragedy, a GoFundMe account was created to help with the expenses that resulted from his sudden passing. On the page created by a friend of the family, it said, It is with a heavy heart and in complete shock that the friends and family of Josh try and process his passing. The Gray family is always the first to intercede and offer support the second someone they love is in need. Well, now it's our turn. The campaign's target was originally set at 30,000, but with the help of over 400 donors, it reached a total of 35,835. While Josh's story may tempt you to run to the hospital at every sign of indigestion, perhaps it is best to view his story instead as a call to action, a reminder that every day is precious and we should do our best to make the most of our time on Earth. Thank you for watching. Tap one of the two videos on the screen for another amazing story.